Welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nobe. I'm here on a broadcast which seeks to correct some misconceptions, especially around migrant workers in South Africa. This is based on the anger that has been steered by some tweets which are doing the rounds uh, on Twitter and some posts on social other social media sites like Facebook uh, where there's been an exaggeration of the number of foreign nationals that are working in some departments in South Africa and some companies. Uh, so we are here to correct especially three misconceptions that were tweeted on the 3rd of September uh, this year. Uh, they mention three sectors in South Africa where they say that foreigners have been employed ahead of South Africans and they're exaggerating, uh, even ballooning the figures of migrants who are working in these uh, companies and government departments. So before I go ahead with this, I would like you to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it so that this word reaches out to all those who care to know about the truth so that we water down these lies which are bound to lead to xenophobic sentiments and xenophobic action against migrants. Uh, we base uh, our reputal of these claims uh, on a report by Africa Check. You know that Africa Check is an organization which uh, follows up on some reports, especially those that might be carrying fake news, and then they investigate these things, they talk to government departments, they talk to companies, they do their own investigation, and then they corrupt these misconceptions. So we base this report, uh, this video, on their findings based on this tweet which was uh, posted on the 3rd of September this year. Uh, the tweet claimed that South African uh, government and companies hate South Africans to the point that they end up employing a great number of foreigners ahead of South Africans. And they mention uh, ESCOM, they mention Vodacom, they mention government departments. And the claim is that uh, ESCOM employs more than 1,000 Zimbabwean employees. They claim that Vodacom employs over 5,000 Zimbabwean employees. They claim that government departments employ over 10,000 foreign nationals. And you realize that over the past few months, there's been a lot of uh, social media activity around trying to steer hate uh, against migrants, especially Zimbabweans. I don't know for what reason, but Zimbabweans have been put uh, as the poster uh, nationals of, of hate. They have been made the most hated. A number of things have been said about them. Some of them true, of course. Most of them false. So we look at what Africa Check found out uh, based on this, on this tweet. Uh, now, the question that rises is, does ESCOM really employ more than 1,000 Zimbabweans, as claimed by that tweet? Does Vodacom employ 5,000 Zimbabweans, as based on that tweet? Do more than 10,000 foreign nationals have jobs in government departments, as claimed by the tweet? This is what Africa Check, Africa Check found out uh, when they did their digging. The first is based on ESCOM. You know that the claim is that ESCOM uh, employs 1,000 Zimbabweans or more than 1,000 Zimbabweans. So the latest activity, uh, the latest available employment data, which Africa Check found, uh, indicates that in the 2020 to 2021 financial year, ESCOM had 43,137 employees in total. The total number of foreign nationals employed by ESCOM bodies was found to be 156. 156 employees of foreign uh, origin under, uh, were working under ESCOM. So there is no breakdown of what nationalities these foreign uh, nationals could be. But this means that the exact number of Zimbabweans employed by ESCOM is not more than 
156. If we are to say 100% uh, of foreigners employed by ESCOM are Zimbabweans, that would mean that only 156 Zimbabweans would be employed by ESCOM. And we know that is not only Zimbabweans. So uh, this means that the 1,000 Zimbabweans being employed by ESCOM FICA is based on a work of fiction because only 156 migrants are employed by ESCOM. We move on to Votacom. Uh, according to the latest available data from Votacom Group's employment equity report, uh, as of 2020 to 2021, the company employed 4,991 people in South Africa. And of these, only 71 are not South African citizens. Uh, there is no breakdown again of what nationality these 71 people could be. But according to what uh, the Vodacom spokesperson uh, Byron Kennedy told Africa Check, the company employs less than 50 people who are Zimbabwean nationals. So less than 50 Zimbabweans are employed by Vodacom in South Africa. So this means that the 5,000 figure is thumb sucked and the aim can only be one to stoke up flames of hate against not only Zimbabweans but foreigners because the claim is that 5,000 Zimbabweans, more than 5,000 Zimbabweans are employed by uh, Vodacom, yet in actual fact, less than 50 Zimbabweans are employed by Vodacom. Then we move on to government departments as found out by Africa Check. Statistics for the number of employees in South African governments can be found in the, in the Commission for Employment Equities 2021 to 2022 annual report. The report indicates that employees in local, provincial, and national government add up to a total of 1.162.199 people, which is 1,162,199 people. That is the total number of people employed by South African government departments. Of these, only 3,420 are foreign nationals. Out of close to 1.2 million government employees in South Africa, only 3,420 of them are foreign nationals. Uh, according to South African government spokesperson, Ms. Pumlia Williams, uh, according to what she told Africa Check, uh, the Department of Public Service and Administration indicates that uh, it, the total number of foreign nationals in public service at provincial and national government was only 1,901. So with the total of only 3,420 foreign nationals being employed in government, which employs close to 1.2 million people, this tells you that the 10,000 figure is fake. So this is not the only uh, basis of hate against foreigners. We also see that there are some uh, right-wing political movements which seek to steer hate or piggyback on the hate which is based on generalizations uh, of foreigners in South Africa uh, to try and win votes. And we realize that this is growing and there is nothing that the government itself is doing. But what we are going to do is for every lie that has been told, for every uh, ballooning of the figures, for every inflation of figures of foreign nationals that are in South Africa working here and there or doing this and that, we are going to make sure that we counter that with facts because the idea is to make sure that South Africans who love the truth always get to know the truth so that they cannot be used by people who are just bent on gaining political capital out of lies. So this is what we're going to do. And this is what we heard for you today. Please do not listen to lies. Always make sure that whatever you say and whatever you do is based on, on facts which have been fact-checked like this one we have just given you from Africa Check because they exist 
to correct these misconceptions. They exist to counter lies with truth. They exist to fight stigma based on lies so that people get to know the truth and they do not get to be used. They don't remain susceptible to being used by unscrupulous politicians, by liars who just run to the keyboard to strike anything that they thumbs up and then present it as the, as the facts. So please, for us to make sure that the truth which reaches out to people who are searching out for it, please assist us by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and share it far and wide. Thank you very much.